name is Devin. I'm a senior developer for Expression. Today, I'd like to take you on a tour of the Backend Expression workspace, a place where you can create and manage your own cutting edge digital experiences, be those brochure websites, e-commerce sites, or web applications. So let's get started. Starting from the top right of the workspace, you will find the user account dropdown. This panel provides an easy way for developers to set their active branches for front-end viewing and back-end development. As well, there is a quick link to the user account editor, allowing you to quickly access and modify the properties of your own user account. Moving left, you can choose to minimize the main menu and gain more visual real estate by clicking on the hamburger icon. Upon logging to your expression, you are directed to the welcome page. This contains the change log, which is a list of any platform changes applied to your current version. On the right side, you will find quick links that take you to off-site resources. These resources can also be accessed by clicking the interrogation point in the top menu. Back to the main menu, the content tab is where you access the content management tools of expression. Expand the content tab to view a list of all domains attached to this particular website install. When clicking on a specific domain, you are taken to content management proper. From the sitemap panel, you can access the first two levels of this site. The sitemap consists of sections, which are essentially folders containing articles. For example, if we click on the FAQ section, we are taken to a list of articles that live inside the FAQ section. To give you context, let us look at our website FAQ section, and you will see that the articles match the front-end display on the website. Articles can be edited either by clicking on the pen icon or by double-clicking on the article title. For more information about Expression Content Management System, please refer to the Getting Started and Content Management sections of the Docs and Help. Expression CMS handles multilingual sites with ease and fuses efficient content workflows, including SEO, media, categorization, and much more, with total flexibility and seamless integration into Expression's web-based IDE. Let's move on to the Develop tab of the main menu. We'll take a look at Bundles, which is the primary development environment where developers will interact with the platform. The Expression Bundles workflow offers a central place that lets you organize your code, such as elements, SSJS, post handlers, and more, making it easier to develop your web page or application. Bundles help you group your code within a unified and portable container. Let's take a quick look at the blog bundle, for example. In here, we see a list of Expression elements, as well as data sources and any other entities that might be attached to this bundle. Each type of entity has on the right-hand side a configuration panel. The configuration panel will vary depending on the entity type selected to offer relevant configurations and options. Each bundle has a master configuration panel that can be accessed by clicking on the title of the bundle at the top of the tree on the left. Next up are the CSS and JavaScript tabs, which are part of what is called the Library Include system. Most of the time you will be putting your CSS and JavaScript within a relevant bundle. However, if you need CSS or JavaScript globally available on your site, you can do it from one of these tabs. Consult the documentation for more information on the handlebars helpers for Library Includes to understand how to integrate these into your site. JavaScript Libraries is a feature that allows you to upload a zip file containing all JS, CSS, and potentially media required for a particular library. This is useful if you have a library already on your file system and you want to upload it 100% as is. I'm going to skip over object view definitions for now and come back to it later. The SSJS error log is an important feature of expression. It allows you to monitor any errors that have occurred during the production run of your site. It is a useful debugging feature that helps you identify issues and fix them proactively. Next up, we have the APIs section, which is effectively documentation for all the Expression APIs. Each API contains additional metadata and will show any customization made to this API for your particular site. It also includes a test API interface where you can mock requests and see resulting data in real time. And the development section ends with the live debug tracing tools. Let me show you how it works. If I activate the live debug tracing in the back end and perform a front end request, I will receive additional information about any errors, how long the page took to render, and a link to the element profiler to get more information about how that particular page performed. The users tab is where you will be able to manage user access. Managing users can be challenging, and for that reason, we have broken them into accounts, people, groups, and organizations. A person record keeps track of an individual's name, address, contact information, etc. Accounts themselves are specific logins for either the front end or back end, which can have a person record attached. Finally, accounts can be members of different groups, and people themselves can be members of organizations. 
This model offers flexibility and efficiency when dealing with managing complex sets of users with different levels of access. For example, website developers versus store customers. For example, we have created here a special object view definition to deal with a specific group of users that we have called XBR customers. And this is where I will take you back to object views. Under object view definitions, we have created XBR customers. When we load this entry up, we see a JSON definition. This supplies a template for users created through this view and a default filter set to constrain what is shown inside that view. When creating object view definitions, they will show up under the relevant tab for the API object they are abstracting. For example, here, our XPR customers object view matches this created menu item, which is showing information about the users within that group. The store menu is quite extensive and provides all the tools you need for an e-commerce website. For example, if I go into a product, you have in-depth capabilities to deal with taxes, images, restrictions on products, how to mix and match them, SEO per product, as well as custom fields, which gives you the flexibility to create custom and specific data for all of your products beyond what Expression provides in its base models. Expression's full-featured e-commerce engine is integrated seamlessly into the same development and markup workflows as your regular content. Built primarily for flexibility and efficiency, it is a beautifully architected API-driven e-commerce framework that was designed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best solutions out there. Under the Settings menu, you will find Authentication Providers, which are a way to define authentication to other HTTP APIs. Here, for example, we have Authentication Providers defined for Twitter and MailChimp. Categories allows you to categorize content. Categories themselves are hierarchical and can be used to create advanced filtering for your content. Categories can then be applied to multiple objects such as articles, users, and more. This allows you to create what is called a taxonomy for your content. Let's skip content type definitions for now and jump over to custom fields. Custom fields allows developers to extend the behavior of the default expression objects. Custom fields can be added to the extended article displays, for example, by adding a secondary text or secondary image property. Content type definitions allows you to define and expose specific sets of custom fields within the article editor. It is a powerful tool for managing what you expose to users who will be interacting with your content through the back end of your site. There's actually a great video published on our YouTube channel that will show you how to create a custom fields and keep your work tidy and organized by using the content type definition. I encourage you to watch the video and learn more about this efficient and powerful feature of expression. Global configuration is a simple key value store that allows you to set various parameters of expressions operation. Consult the documentation for more information on what particular settings might interest you. Languages is a simple editor where you define available languages on your website when using the expression multilingual feature. Redirect Templates allows you to define a URL remapping for your site. This feature is commonly used when you need to make major sitemap changes and want to keep your old URLs working, or when you would like to optimize your site URLs for SEO purposes. And the last item of the main menu is Media. The Media Explorer lets you browse any media which has been uploaded to the site. Easily searchable, media can also be used within your JavaScript or CSS. All media is accessible over HTTP using the slash media folder. We also provide a URL endpoint that can dynamically resize images for use in thumbnail. For this walkthrough, I used our own website as a reference, which was designed internally to meet our own requirements. Since Expression is a fully customizable cloud-based CMS and e-commerce platform, keep in mind that your expression might look different and contain additional tabs, sections, and menus that you will define yourself to meet your needs and requirements, because you can. Efficient, flexible, and a secure software-as-a-service platform, Expression is the ideal solution to build and iterate cutting-edge digital experiences.